Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be covering some quick tips and tricks in Procreate that I know help my workflow so much and I think they can really help yours as well. So let's jump straight in. First tip we're gonna to cover today is moving layers between canvases. This is something I've only been practicing recently myself as I wanted to jump back into old artwork that I created in the past and revamp it or even bring elements of those back into my new work. So let's have a look at exactly what it looks like. The first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna tap on the layers panel in the top right hand corner of the screen and then we're gonna select any layers that we wanna move. We can do them individually or if you do wanna do them in groups, tap the first one you wanna move and then swipe right on all the other ones and they'll select them in a group. Next step we want to do is we want to press and hold on one of the layers that we've selected and that's going to group those layers together and we're not going to remove our finger, we're going to keep our finger pressed on the screen and then with the other finger we're going to tap on gallery. It's really important that we don't lift the finger off the screen that we had our layers selected with or else we're going to lose those selections. So keep that finger pressed once you've selected those layers and then once we've tapped on gallery you're going to see we're back to our overall gallery view. All we have to do from this point is tap on the artwork that we want to move the layers to and then we're gonna be brought straight into that artwork. Next thing we wanna do is tap back on the layers panel. And then with the finger that we've already got our layers selected with, we're gonna drag that up and we're gonna drop that straight into the layers panel of the new artwork. And there we have it, a super useful trick to bring layers between different artworks, uh, to bring different elements between different pieces. It's something that I've really started to adapt into my everyday workflow within Procreate. And I think it might just help you as well. So give this one a go and let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Before we move on, if you're finding this video useful, smash the like button below, hit subscribe as well. It really helps me grow the channel and bring you more content each and every week. All right, let's keep going. The next quick tip I wanna share with you today is nudging content in Transform. This is really, really useful. It's something that I use in every single piece that I create. It's quick, it's easy, and it really allows you to get fine adjustments when you need them when it comes to moving optics around. Let's jump in and see what it looks like. Let's use this section of one of my drawings as an example. As you can see, I've got it selected here. And yes, we can drag it around the screen as much as we like. As you can see, if I tap just outside of the box on the left here, it's gonna nudge the item to the left. Same with the top, the right, the bottom. It's a great way to move objects subtly and when you just need to make really fine adjustments, this can be super useful in so many areas. I personally use it when I've made an initial sketch and I wanna move different sections of my sketch without affecting the overall piece too much. This one is super simple and I found it's become a key part of my everyday workflow within Procreate. Give it a go, let me know what you think. And again, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, leave them down in the comments section below. Another shortcut or tip I wanna to share today is quickly grabbing your previous color. When you're moving really fast within Procreate and you need to get things done in a timely manner, this tip or trick can really save you a lot of time. As an example, you can see here that I'm painting with one color and then I'm moving over to use another color straight after that. And if I wanna quickly grab that previous color I used, all we're gonna do is long hold on the color swatch on the top right here of the screen and that is gonna revert us straight back to the color we were using just before. As you can imagine, this is super, super useful when you really wanna have a nice quick workflow. You wanna reference the color you were just using, but maybe you haven't saved that color and you might not wanna use the color picker because you've got a lot of colors going on in your piece. Quickly grabbing your previous color is super easy, but it is a fast way to level up and procreate and become the best digital artist you can be. And the final quick tip I wanna to cover today is creating a color palette from a photo. I'm sure you're like me and at some point you found a piece of art or some sort of inspiration that you've really loved the colors from and you would really love to reference them in your own work. There are so many ways to do this and so many great apps, but the way I like to do it lately is to do it within Procreate itself. It is super easy to do, it's really fun. So let's jump in and give it a go. When we're in our artwork within Procreate, we're just gonna tap on the color swatch menu on the top right hand of the screen and we're gonna make sure we have the palette tab selected on the bottom right hand. Once we have all our palettes showing, you're gonna see a little plus icon in the top right hand corner. We're gonna click on that and then we're gonna tap on new from photos. This is gonna bring up your camera roll within your iPad and then once we select the photo we wanna use, Procreate's gonna create a color palette from that photo. Side note, you are gonna to wanna to save the reference image before you do this process because you are gonna to wanna to draw from it from your camera roll. Once we've selected the photo we wanna reference from, you're gonna see that Procreate creates its own color palette and then you can be able to use those colors as you wish within your own artwork. This is fantastic especially if you are trying to recreate a certain style of artwork and maybe that style depends on certain colors. This is a really fun way to use Procreate and a really fast way to create some awesome color palettes. So give this one a go and you might just love it too. 
Well, that pretty much wraps us up for today. Those are four awesome quick tips that I really wanted to share with you. This is a series that I'm gonna start doing every single week. We're gonna be covering a bunch of quick tips which I really think can help you in your Procreate journey and make you the best digital artist that you can be. Again, if you've enjoyed the content, please leave me a like down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and bring you the best content I can each and every week. Also, a big shout out to all my Patreons who show me love on a monthly basis. It really does mean a lot and helps me grow as an artist and again, helps me grow this channel and bring you all the best content I can. Thank you all so much and I'll catch you in the next video.